how's your comfort level now kind of being in the front of the room as opposed to the spring? Yeah, it's great. Um, what's my comfort level? Uh, very comfortable. All right. Just trying to push these guys, get them better every single day. Pullback tight end. I haven't set one yet, okay. um, but we've got a lot of talent in our room. There's good depth, but who's the first guy? I couldn't tell you right now. We're just trying to compete and trying to get toughness in the group, right? So building toughness as a program, that's kind of what we hang our hat on, and that's what we're focusing on. Where, where are you looking for Benson to improve this year? Like I said, for all of them, I'm trying to improve toughness, okay? If we can be tough at the point of attack, if we can play with great mental toughness when the chips are down and we can respond, that's going to carry us a long way. How much does it help you that you have some older guys that have had some experience here at K-State in your room? How does Help. that help you as a first year? Helps a lot. Helps a lot because they've got, shoot, they do some things naturally that make me look like a good coach. So it helps me a lot that they've got experience. It allows me to spend more time on getting them you know, better at the little things that maybe they were deficient in okay, and not have to start from the ground up. Specifically. Sam brings some good leadership. He's got a lot of experience. He's in his sixth year. He's got good ball skills. He is working his tail off and getting better in the run game. He's, he's doing a really good job, and he's bringing a good focus to it. Are the fullback and tight end position any less interchangeable in this new offense at all, or are you still? Yeah, they're pretty much interchangeable, yeah. That's why they're all kind of lumped in one room. Where does Sammy Wheeler come as a blocking back? He's, he is improving dramatically. He works on it every single day. He, um, he attacks, he approaches, he is embracing it as a responsibility of his. Does that make sense? So he's embracing that challenge and he is attacking it every single day. I couldn't be more proud of how he's approaching it. Do you have Jacks back at fullback? Do have Jacks, yep. How has he come along? I know he played a little bit of running back in the spring and now he's back to fullback. How's that he's, kind of been for him? He's got a little, he's a little bit of a Swiss Army knife. Um, so he can fit a lot of different roles there and he's got maybe a little bit different skill set and that he can kind of thump a little bit more than some of the other guys can. And he's got that experience carrying the football. Yep. So it brings a little something that can be kind of fun to leave him out there and do some different things. Anything else? Have there been any younger guys that kind of popped out over, over the spring? Over spring or over this fall camp? Over fall camp. Yeah, our two incoming freshmen, uh, Garrett Oakley and Braden Lofton, have performed really well. They're continuing to learn, but they're young guys at the ways to go, right? Tight end for us is a developmental position, and um, they're really coming along. They're picking it up. They're learning how to play hard, and that's the great thing about how we practice. Um, they get a lot of reps because we'll split the field. So they're coming along well. Um, other guys like Andrew Sonner, Christian Moore, they're developing very well as well. At least since Coach Kleiman's been here, that you haven't brought in a, a transfer tight end. Does yep. um, that just kind of speak to how you guys feel about that room right now? Yeah, I, I would say it does, and and what we need for us to win as a football team. Um, we've got a deep group. We've got large numbers. Um, we think we have the talent to be able to compete and perform with that group. Yeah.